Hello, I'm Alan Pink, Enrolled Agent, and welcome to Tax News Live. Today we'll be discussing estimated tax payments. If you fail to make a required payment, pay an installment after the date it is due, or underpay any installment, you may be assessed a penalty. The penalty incurred will be on the portion of estimated tax underpaid from the due date of the installment to the date of the payment, or the due date of the tax return, whichever comes first. When you are figuring estimated tax payments, remember you must pay either 100% of last year's tax liability or 90% of your current year's tax liability, whichever is less. If you qualify as a high income individual, remember there is a limit to the prior year's tax. So be sure to make your payments based on these percentages. If your adjusted gross income is $150,000 or more in the prior tax year, your payment is the lesser of 90% of your current year's tax or 110% of your prior year's tax. If your adjusted gross income is $1 million or more in the current year, your required estimate payment will be 90% of the current year's tax. Remember this does not apply to farmers or fishermen. Now that you have figured your estimated tax payments, remember to make them on time by following these dates and percentages. First payment, 30% by April 17, 2012. The second payment, 40% by June 15, 2012. There is no third payment due by September 17, 2012. The fourth payment, 30% by January 15, 2013. Keep these dates in mind and remember to make your required payments on time in order to avoid an estimate penalty. If you would need help figuring out your estimate payments, reference the California Estimated Tax Worksheet, which can be found in the instructions for Form 540 ES. For more information, please go to the Franchise Tax Board website at www.ftb.ca.gov and search Estimated Tax. Thank you for watching. I am Alan Pink, Enrolled Agent, and this is Tax News Live.